let's put the show on the road. Hi, my name's Kim Battinger. I'm Freddie Mercury. Hi guys, what is up? Yes, it is me again. It is Sally here. And today I'm going to be filming top five best Queen slash Freddie Mercury documentaries to watch before you go and see Bohemian Rhapsody the movie. I am a massive fan of Queen. I have been a big fan of theirs for almost about 26 years now, ever since I've been alive. I was sort of brainwashed with them by my parents. <laughs> when you look at me now, I'm quite boring, really. So I have seen quite a few Freddie Mercury slash Queen documentaries. These are solely based on my own opinion and the ones that I've seen. But please, if you have any documentaries that you think are worth a watch before people go and see the new film, then please leave it in the comments below and uh, do share. So let's get this thing started. At number five, which is the bottom on my list, unfortunately, but that still doesn't mean that it's rubbish, it is Inside the Rhapsody. This is a documentary that's available on the Queen official YouTube page, so if any of you guys wanna go and check it out, please do. It is a full extensive, and I mean extensive, because the documentary is just all about it about the story of Bohemian Rhapsody. It has nothing but interviews from Roger and Brian, you know, and they tell the stories of how it was created in six studios. It's also got their experience of like the music video as well, which I really, really love. I mean, come on, who doesn't love the Bohemian Rhapsody music video? I mean, it's just a classic piece of art, I'd say. <laughs> but also, if you're a massive fan of the song, I deeply recommend it because if you want to hear about how Queen created one of the biggest hits in the world then this documentary is for you. So at number four we have Queen the Phenomenon. Now in the UK I know that this is available on demand on Sky Arts, just type it into your TV and I'm sure you'll find it. In terms of other platforms I'm not really too sure, I'm certain that you can find a version of it online. And it has a lot of good content in it, like it has a lot of interviews from Freddie, Roger, Brian and John as well. Also for that little extra bit of awesomeness, hence why it did make number four on my list, I love the fact that they also interview people like David Bowie, George Michael and Elton John. You know, you can see all of them in this documentary. I also love it how the, the documentary doesn't end once Freddie passes. You know, it kind of explains all about the planning of the tribute concert. You know, it has backstage footage of Liza Minnelli practicing, Seal practicing, Guns N' Roses practicing, you know. So I really think if you want to get a full view of Queen, kind of in their own words, back in the the day when they were being really successful then this is the documentary for you to watch. At number three it is Queen the Killer Queen documentary. This was made back in 2002 and it is available on YouTube. Not only does it tell the complete story of Queen but it also tells the story that no one really knows that much about which is what did the others do back when Queen had their mini split just before Live Aid, you know, just before they had a highlight in their careers, right when it looked like it was all ending? You know, because a lot of people know that obviously Freddie did the Mr. Bad Guy album, but a lot of people forget what Roger, Brian and John did. You missed the rest of the guys? No. So obviously Roger did his solo album, which I think was fun in space, correct me if I'm wrong. Brian did the Starfleet stuff, and John, as random as John is, he did all the Biggles stuff. It also has that little bit of magic in it, which I love, which is that it doesn't just detail on Freddie's personal life. Yes, it has interviews from Peter Freestone, but also it has interviewees like Anita Dobson, who's in it, who's obviously Brian May's wife, and I just completely love that aspect of it. At number two, it is Freddie Mercury, The Un told story which I think was released back in 2000. Now this film was directed by Rudy, I can't pronounce his last name. He is well known by some of you queenies as the director of videos such as Breakthrough, The Miracle and These Are The Days Of Our Lives and he did a documentary based solely from start to finish about Freddie Mercury's life. It has interviews with Freddie's mum, Freddie's sister, Brian May, Mary Austin, Peter Freestone, Jim Hutton. It has all of them in it and it literally tells you every story that you can think of about Freddie, which I love about it. So I'm just a musical prostitute, my dear. At number one on my list, it is Queen Days of Our Lives slash Freddie Mercury, The Great Pretender. It really made me laugh when I uploaded the trailer reaction because a lot of Queen fans 
commented saying, have you seen Freddie Mercury, The Great Pretender? And this is the documentary that they are all talking about. I kind of interlinked it with each other because it was the same director and it came out around about the same time uh, and it was made by the BBC as well. So I think I can get away with that. But this is one of the best, I mean, both of them are the best documentaries to watch if you need to know everything about Queen. So both documentaries feature a full lengthy timeline of the band's history. You know, it tells you stories such as, you know, what studies they were all doing around the time when Brian and Roger created Smile, you know, when they first met Freddie, interviews with John all about his introduction into the band and things like that. And then it goes by, which I think is absolutely awesome, album by album and just tells you awesome stories you know like the story of Roger meeting the dwarf who lies under meat to Freddie meeting Sid Vicious I called Sid Vicious and I called him Simon Ferocious or something what I love about this as well is that it also shows the unseen footage of like the boys recording We Are Champions vocals behind the scenes of the Radio Gaga video it also shows Freddie when he was very ill during the These Are The Days Of Our Lives video which is really emotional to watch as well you know just showing you how much he was suffering around that time but I just think this documentary well both documentaries do justice to the story of Queen and to also the story of Freddie Mercury depending on which one you go for so that is it I hope you enjoyed obviously like I said before if you know a Queen documentary that is absolutely brilliant leave it in the comments so that other people can view it and that maybe I can view it as you can see I'm a big Queen fan so it would be brilliant if you guys can share your thoughts so I shall see you very soon I hope you all of you have a good week and also thank you so much for the incredible Incredible response that I've got on my Bohemian Rhapsody trailer reaction you know the fact in just day one alone I got over 11,000 views it's just nuts but please subscribe for more videos and let me know what you guys want to see whether you want to see more stuff like this more covers or even more stuff like how to tune a drum kit how to do Rogers trademark on the drums I could do all different sorts of videos like that so let me know in the comments and click that subscribe button and I shall see you very soon bye